Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during two episodes 15 to 17 of season two. Pokemon's just gotta get started with episode 15 and three, two, one, go. Oh, did we freeze? Oh, okay, never mind. Hmm. No, it's not. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, God, we going in today. Oh, y'all just made it worse. Oh, my God. You gotta fix this. This is so stressful. Like, oh. Uh. Mm. Between that and then... I, okay, so... Let me tell you what just happened a couple of minutes ago. All right, so we were literally at this moment, and we thank God we didn't get deep, deep into the episode. And because, you know, got a platform bed and ish, and my dog was laying on my bed, and, you know, sometimes he will lay there for two hours, and sometimes he won't lay here for two hours. Um, But this dog, every single time when I come towards him, and I'm like, okay, you want to get down? And he thinks I want to play with him, and he starts coughing and starts having a reverse sneeze, and I'm like, oh, bruh. I'm like, okay. Let me stop. Let me see what's wrong with him. He's okay, thank God. Just, like I said, reverse knees and coughing and stuff, and he's okay. He's currently just laying down and chilling in his little bed in his tent and stuff, and he's probably going to be there for the next two hours and 30 minutes, because this is all I'm recording tonight, and then <laughs> got a whole bunch of it's tomorrow later on in the day. <laughs> uh... But hey, at least my birthday's on Monday. That's good. <laughs> but by the time people, everybody else sees this, it'll be Wednesday. So my birthday will already be gotten, done. So happy 28th birthday, Deja. Please, like, for Christ's sake. Oh, hun. <laughs> no, it's really complicated. I mean, because, like, okay, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with him being friends with her because we know that, like... He has no feelings to her, but you know, us girls, we get jealous. Because, of course, like we already know, Kaya is hella jealous with this situation. No, oh my. 
<laughs> Buddy, come here. Oh, God, you were right there. It is. I mean, I get you. Oh, but it is. It's written all over your face. Come on now. Yeah, but you can't even tell your significant other about this ish. Yeah, I wonder how that ish is going to go. She's just ignoring. Really? Because you got a crush on them. We all know that, honey. Yes.
Whoa. <laughs> oh, damn. Because <laughs> I don't think any woman would agree with that. You don't have to be this way, though. <sighs> it's so complicated. Oh, my God. And it's only the first of three episodes that I'm watching. <sighs> I don't know. I just... Oh my god just apologize to her please be a man be a man you know you was wrong you both were in the wrong call Kaya damn it That's a big misunderstanding. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, but something tells me freaking Elkie's gonna come as well and ruin it. Oh, oh, oh shit. gonna come like right when they're embracing oh, shit oh my god oh no car Know how in the world she get there so quickly? <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus, we got an audience now, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I, I think it's fine. I just don't want to be able to call him. But I get it if Kaya doesn't want you to. Stop. 
it. Oh my god, it's 1.30 in the morning. I don't want to cry. Exactly, so just apologize, please. Exactly, because I really thought we were about to stretch this out. Are we literally just saying that the, by the end of the series we're just gonna have a double wedding? I mean, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm here for it. But oh, okay. Finally. Just, oh my god. It's like I said, I really thought we were about to stretch this out for the next two, three episodes. I've been like, bruh. I've been like, we really about to see this couple. Two freaking couples. I've been like, yep, nope, not talking to you. Screw you. I don't want to hear your face. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to see your face. Mm -hmm. Don't call me, don't text me, nothing. But, like, oh, my God, thank God. Because, whoa, it would have, I, I mean, because, like, 50 out of 50, I don't like when some animes kind of stretch out the breakup between two characters, especially if it's something, like, really, if it's a misunderstanding, because I've seen some animes in the past that have done that, and it's one of the most, like, ugh, kind of things where I'm like, why are we overstretching it? Because I've seen some shows that stretch it for like a season or two or three and I'm like, bruh, oh my god, that's too much. Like a couple of episodes is okay, but like a whole season, that's a little too damn much. But thank god, like everything's okay now. Kaya accepts the relationship or friendship between Aki and my friend and now she has a friend again. Like, oh my god. Baby, because, like, whoa, the big, the big ass misunderstandings, like, 100%, like, uh. <laughs> Damn. But I still have, like, a little, God, because just going in a fucking restaurant and meeting someone and literally demanding them that the only way that they're gonna like literally want to work back with someone is if they date you date him like that's a little messed up i mean and there are some guys who are very aggressive like that and it's like bruh like no nah, yanni you like this and you need to let's like come come to the floor down to the floor like you need to just chill like come on man like that negotiation and it's like no 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 we can negotiate but not to the point where it's like if we are if we're working together on something and you are literally saying the only way that we can continue on this is if you date me what if she's not into you that's the biggest thing we know that Augie is like slowly but surely falling in love with him but at the same time because of the fact is you know he went, he moved on from her and went with what's her face 
in the previous episode, and, well, technically they're not even together, but he has feelings towards her. This is just, like, it's a love triangle. That it's just, like, no. It's not even a love. It's just this. <laughs> it is just not this. And it's just very complicated. And I want Aoki and Wants Space to be together by the end of this because they're very sweet together, and you just automatically, when you think of those two, you just remember the time when he was working in the cold when it was snowing, and she finally went out, got an umbrella for him, and literally was like, I want you, you can still work with me, but just stop, go home. Like, you could have possibly get sick or worse, died. And none of us want to have that, like, have that fall on any, on, on having someone's life on their hands and being like, oh, hey, they're the reason why they did this and such and so oh god I, I wish he would really honestly think about that but of course you know because he is feeling some type of way just like most people are you know hell men women children whoever of course he's gonna be like no i'm not gonna think about this yada 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 this is that third. but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 16 okay episode 16 and three two one go Yeah, she fucked the shit out of Nakai. Like, oh my god. Only because Nakai was being a dick, though. I mean, seriously. No, no, on my thigh, on my thigh. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Oh my God, dog. Cody, right here. This dog. <laughs> Gotcha, bud. <laughs> oh my god. You wanna sit? <laughs> oh, you silly thing. Hell, if I was her, I wouldn't even want to talk to him, though.
Ja. No, he might cuss you out. I mean, yeah, he's definitely going to cuss you out. I know, he's not even thinking like a man right now. Because, like, uh. Seriously. This week's video is in a nutshell. It's like, fucking apologize. Remember, we don't want to boost his ego. Yeah, I mean, because plus no offense, he is really an arrogant asshole. Seriously? Okay. Yeah, basically. You just protect yourself and her. <laughs> oh, this might just like be really bad. See, once again, he's just being an arrogant fuck face. Oh my god. <laughs> Basically. But hold up, that's not fair though. Of course he is.
Yeah, but come on. Even though you chose her over Aoki, you still have feelings for her. So you're just going to settle, basically. <laughs> she over a little bit. But honestly, it's something he needed to hear, though. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just say yes, it's a better opportunity. Right? And something good will come out of it. You're not asking him for another. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so no, he owes her.
I knew this was going to happen. She's just like, she's just worming her way like, oh, God. Mm-hmm. See, like, I wouldn't say USA is, like, obsessive, but she's slowly but surely, like, becoming it. And, like, I mean, come on, girl. Like, damn. Like, seriously. It's, <laughs> is it worth it that much? Like, ooh. she is no 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 she's still gonna get it done come on now she's determined and you know when us women are determined we're gonna do everything like quick fast in the hurry Oh, I just froze. Yeah, so you can already say goodbye to that. Okay, go lay down, pup. Go lay down. This dog.
my god, dog. Okay, go lay down, Cody. I cannot speak. That must be the smallest number that I ever had. Well, damn! <laughs> hmm? That's not good. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Then what's the problem? What the heck is the problem that both of them was like, huh? No, no, and then it rains? Come on now, of course there's a fucking problem. Uh, you know what, what if it's something really, really, like, small? Like a little fix or something? I don't know, but, like, I'm scared now. <laughs> Having Fukuda and Aoki working together, honestly, is one of those, it kind of reminds me very similar to, like, being in a relationship where you are complete and total opposites and you come together and you're dating each other and you're like, this could never work. And, you know, you, you're you someone who, okay, let's say it's like you and someone else. So you're someone who really, really likes anime, but this is someone who's never seen anime before. But they are kind of willing to try to get into it. And, and sometimes it could either make your relationship or break your relationship and such. There are some people who have never seen anime before but they're really willing to try and get into it plus it also depends on what the heck you're going to show them in ish but oh god opposites but you know what honestly because they are they're it's it's good that team is good i mean it, the things that he is teaching her it's sweet and it's nice and he's not being he, he's being harsh but he's also being very critiqued about it he's being very in a way, kind of professional. Oh my god, is she gonna fall for him too? <laughs> oh god, if Aoki falls for him too, that's gonna be two guys in a row. But seriously, I mean, their relationship, it, it's still somewhat of a friendship where they can still stop, uh, I cannot speak, oh my god, it's two in the morning. They can still, uh, mm, motherfucker, they can still talk smack to each other in it. Like, you know how when you talk shit with someone and everything, and, you know, you're just doing it for fun in it and shits and giggles and shit like that. Um, but at the same time, it's still professional, where he is not going to beat around the bush with her. And I do like that. There are some people who can really be like that with someone without trying to make, you know, either a guy, girl, whoever cry. And it's really good that they're like that because there were times I was sitting here thinking like, okay, he is yelling at her so fucking bad. And I'm thinking this girl is about to like fucking cry one or two. She's about to go off. I mean, because, you know, even the nicest girls can go off on like the meanest guys and, you know, make make their day a living hell. You just, mm -hmm, you, you do one little wrong thing and then yeah that nice girl is you know the meanest person in the world so you know don't do anything to screw her over because you know mm, you don't really want to mess with the me you know the nicest person in the world also being mean to you so you know hit hit nudge nudge just in case so don't do that ish but i mean yeah it, it's working thank god she did not get once if if she would have hired him and saying and being okay with like oh let me take pictures of you get so many different shots if you want a swimsuit or just panty shot up shot whatever 
whatever. Like, th- that's a little kind of fucking degrading. I mean, with that, if she what if she if she did say yes to taking pictures, that would have been a really big old desperate move. Like, you have to be that fucking desperate in the end to be like, yeah, okay, go ahead and take pictures of me and use those as your reference guide. But Oh, thank God I hope he was not that desperate, but <laughs> yes, I just need to know what the heck was that ending. But yes, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 17. Okay, final episode in three, two, one. go. Okay, so what's the problem? But it's not great. that thing out like Unfortunately.
Because it is this baby, and you know, oh God. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, and unfortunately, you ain't going to be able to get on that because you went to no one but females. Poor baby. so sure it was gonna pass. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. Today's not a good day. Yeah, but see, I don't really blame it on that. It's just... <sighs> Kaya! Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but she wouldn't have, but females, and really, honestly, she does not want anything to do with you, especially after that bitch slap, like, oh, come on, bruh. Do you really think she's going to answer you? Nope. Hello, 
I wouldn't even have answered him. Mm -hmm. Now you learn that being a dick ain't the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, but you can still change for a new... I, I mean, yeah, I would be disgusted with you too, bruh. I mean, honestly, the ish that you did... But come on. Yes, he's done some bad stuff, but come on, he can change. In a way, he has to do this on his own. at least reconsider them. But you're so much more than that though. He's really leaving. Oh. But di uh, seriously? This is man pride, no matter what. I mean, uh, like, he could have just stayed a little while longer, apologized, started over from the beginning, like, uh. And then, you know, once again, here's USA just sneaking her freaking all up in the business. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Maybe your life just unfortunately ran out. Mm. Poor babies. God, that's not going to be good. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's basically giving that into a warning as um oh god. Woo what the heck is this episode? Oh, cause that was a scary warning. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's equally your both of y'all's fault. It's not just Myrda, it's both of yours.
you really even balance, like, your own and someone else's? Uh. Well, you know, in a way, I have a good feeling about this, honestly. Well, of course you have to. Oh, it'll change everything, of course. I'll be fine. Yeah, basically. Only to light a fire in someone's butts, you know? This will either be really good or be really bad. I mean, oh, but I think it's going to be good. It, like I said, it's going to light a fire. <laughs> and I, you know, my children's butts like straight up. Once they see how good it is, of course. But I think once they find out like who who's freaking doing the freaking... The work behind it, like, oh, God. And I just... Oh, God. Once again, I hate the fact USA just sneaking her fucking ass up into it like in a face for the business. Like, oh, this girl. I, I wish she could be the type of chick who'd be like, okay. Uh, like she She's the type of girl who's like, I'm not taking no for an answer. But I wish she would just know that, like, okay, he said no. He don't want to be with you. Stop. Go sit your behind down somewhere else. Like, Jesus, you know you don't want to be a part of this. You're only doing this because you can't take no for a freaking answer. I swear to God, like, oh my God, I don't like her. I mean, you know what, like, I, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with EOSA. I, I like how determined she is with her ish, but at the same time, like, the way she is doing this, it is not my cup of tea. Like, oh my God, she just, she reminds me of some of these, like, jealous girls, women, whoever, who will do anything they fucking want to to just get the person who they had a crush on, like, to come back to their side. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously, desperation. Like, that's all I smell and itch from her. And look, when I, when I look at her, I just see nothing but desperate. And I, I mean, like, I know she wants, like, most of us will do it for money initially, not the third, but if, because of the fact that she is still truly, like, has feelings for a kid of color, it's, I cannot speak. I mean, you know, because he, of course, he's gorgeous and such. But at the same time, he is taken. Like, oh my God. Like, sit your ass over there. Like, stand down. Like, oh God. This is sometimes why I can't. 
Oh, this is so much. Uh, and the, the fact is that if we... <sighs> my guy is now gone, and I feel like he's not even going to come back. Like, there's a little possibility that he could, but I mean, I hate the fact that the way that they ended this off with their relationship is that neither one of them apologized to each other about what happened that day without he slapping the crap out of him and for him saying the things that he did to her. But... They oh they could have just had bygones be bygones apologize even though she was like you know thank you for your work on this and da 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 but still like neither one of them wanted to be the bigger person and be like okay let me go ahead and apologize and hope and pray that this can you know be a first step in a better relationship for the both of us but now that he's gone officially because right now I'm saying he's gone gone um unless like let's say by the end of season two going into the final season he possibly makes an appearance back or like something where it's like oh hey we're on the phone with him or something but I would rather see him come back like as a better man a better person than you know what he left as he's I'm not saying he's leaving like with his tail between his between his legs or like that but because of the fact is he's leaving on a sour note it makes me a little upset because I felt like we could have did he could have he could have been a lot better as a character than he truly was I mean like to leave off on that it's not a high note. And so I'm hoping that if he does come back, he gets to have this chance to redeem himself. Because I think he is a really redeemable character. I just, like I said, don't like the way that he just currently left out with getting bitch shot. Blah, I can't speak. Bitch slapped. And then also, you know, <laughs> another female telling, yeah, I can't be in a secret relationship with you. All right. And then also, like, everything else of what happened in this episode this was too much for me this week oh my god jesus christ but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episodes 15 to 17 of season two of Pokemon. if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out <clears throat> also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day to the magical squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patrons and next wednesday for videos for episodes 18 19 and 20 Bye, guys.